This is Leo. Today I'm going to show you how I assembled the Voyager 3. That's a little perspective of the larger than normal quadcopter, the Voyager 3. But in this episode, as usual, I'm going to measure it, weigh it, and give you those measurements. The Voyager 3 comes in a box just like this. If you have ordered a radio, the Devo F12E comes with it. A lemon case is included, I assume, just like the X800, a high-end quadcopter, comes with a lemon case. Uh, if it is, this is a pretty nice case, solid, uh, well-built, quality, the locks are strong. And opening up, you're going to notice that the Voyager 3 will require some assembly, just like the X800. Look at that, that is really nice looking design. I like it. Um, the assembly time is actually not too long actually, it's not complicated at all, it's just um, screwing on the arms and uh, adding propellers. The only time I actually pause is to look at the propellers because they are not labelled. And But the user guide actually shows you the uh, direction of the propellers, so I just follow exactly what is on the guide. Here I'm showing you the LiPo battery. It's the uh, 8S LiPo battery. It's actually two LiPos in one case. It is cleverly designed with measuring indicators and giving you 20 minutes of flight time. Here are some charging cables. Included is a 8S LiPo charger, which is uh, not a really common charger. Uh, well, actually, it's in, it's usually pretty expensive to buy it as 100 watt charger. So it's included. It's a auto charger. Uh, just plug it in and it charges and balance. So let's take some measurements. This is the lipo battery, the two in one lipo battery, um, making it 8S. It's 1,226 grams. Uh, it's what you'll be flying, a car battery. And this is the body, it is 2,315 grams. That makes it a whopping 3.5 kilograms on this quadcopter. So the length uh, is about 20 centimeter in the propeller, one side, so that's 8 inches. And if you take a look, the entire span is 2 feet. 60 centimeters and the height is about 25 26 centimeters so that was kind of heavy going down the stairs with a Voyager 3 here we have the Bluetooth if your package comes with a ground station the ground station as well as mission planner is one of the most advanced UAV applications out there uh, result of the drone code projects with the Linux Foundation where all the brains are brought together to create this application. It comes with various flight modes from waypoints to fence parameters, auto landing, cruise, circle flight and follow me, just to name a few. Here are what they call propeller clamps, basically holding the propellers to the arms. The Fire Shirt 3 comes with carbon propellers. Um, they are pretty strong um, and uh, they look identical to the X800, so I believe it's the same size. Um, I was told you get two sets of the propellers. Um, I don't see you needing one immediately. I uh, haven't changed the propeller for over a year, but it's good to have one extra set. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's not labeled, but the instruction manual here actually gives you a diagram to show you how to match your propellers. So, um, this instruction manual has definitely uh, improved. I actually like it. Um, it's uh, pretty nicely organized. Here we have the USB cable that you will need to upgrade your firmware. And lastly, the camera that is attached to the Voyager 3. The 360 degrees rotational gimbal camera that allows you to shoot at 120 frames per second at 720p and 60 frames per second at 1080p. 
and this is the prototype but the production model will look exactly the same uh, with a better resolution camera the first thing before you begin assembly what are requirements that you reset the landing skid it comes collapse in a case so to do that you will need a radio a lipo battery to power it on so first thing plug in your lipo battery turn on the switch power on and then turn on your radio that would bind the radio to the Voyager 3 resetting the landing skid there you go you're not locked down and you're ready to take it for a test flight with that I'll leave you with a speedy clip with how I assembled the Voyager 3 it is not a how to but at least a how I did it so hope you enjoyed this episode have a good day One of the major changes that Wakira has done in this model compared to the predecessors is the change in the design. This is a modular component design. The whole idea is to improve quality as well as to make it easily accessible and serviceable. It is very similar to what modern cars do there, all components. And all it takes is about 6 screws to remove the lampshade, which is the body, to begin servicing. Another major change to this model is the use of dual GPS failover. Basically two GPS, uh, the Russian satellites as well as the American satellites are included. With more satellites, it gives you more options and more accuracy. Now, my favorite feature of this Voyager is the OSD, on-screen display or hard. What can I say is they will include an OSD on this model which will show critical flight information such as the home arrow, GPS coordinates and altitude and others. I've been testing it on the goggle and this is going to be a great addition to this UAV. And now a short preview of some of our recent FPV projects for the Missing Children Network. Too. Take it out of the okay, right above me. Spin the uh, camera 360 degrees. Gears. One more round. 
One more round. Yeah, one more round, please. Oh, yeah. Now! Perfect landing. Yes, sir. That's our pilot. FPV all day long. <laughs> <laughs>